Welcome and welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I will be rearranging my shelf and while I'm doing that I might as well be giving you a little book tour you know because you're gonna see the shelf anyway. Um apparently I already took down Christmas City 2 so there's that and there's Christmas City 1. So now I don't know about you guys but I've always felt like this was the better cover. We don't support the author though just remember that. Um, this was gifted to me. This I got before I knew what I know now. This was gifted to me. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get started. And then I've got my Addie LaRue. Um, this is the Addie that I actually read because you will see later that I have another Addie LaRue. But this is one that I actually read. This was also gifted to me for my birthday from a friend um this was the fantasy shelf that was the idea this was the fantasy shelf there's literally obviously just fantasy here ya na whatever the case may be it's all here this is supposed to be romance mystery anything that's obviously fake because it's fiction but not too fake as in it's fantasy you understand so let's get to the fantasy first this is Days of Blood and Starlight. This is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I will show you the other two when we get to it. This is on top because I'm supposed to be reading it. Emphasis on supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Bridge Kingdom. Whoa, Bridge Kingdom trilogy. Well, so far it's a trilogy. I don't know if there's going to be another one. Um, this was a duology when I had read it. It was just these two. Um, this is a four star, I'm pretty sure. This five star, come on, if you're on this channel by now, you should probably know that this is like one of my favorite books ever, one of my favorite fantasy romances. It's so good. So that's those two, duology. And then this goes with them. Don't worry, my bed is there, so I'm not just like throwing them on the floor. Um, <laughs> and then this is um, the now third book, and it is about two separate characters that are featured in Traitor Queen, but not obviously focused on and this i did hear from somebody that it starts because I, I read what is it three two chapters i read two chapters and i realized that no man i've read some of the stuff that's going on here and it's because it, it starts in the same timeline as traitor queen somewhere in between traitor queen and then obviously it continues into its own story and i think that's so freaking cool that's amazing honestly so there's that and then there is what lies beyond the veil this is literally one of my favorite books this is such a good fantasy book oh love it i'm gonna start going a bit lower in like how i'm speaking with the books because this will take forever if i have to explain everything that i've read i haven't read all of them though obviously i am a collector first a reader second i have come to realize and then children of blood and bone this was gifted to me by a friend many years ago please look at the color of those pages yeah no many years ago i had started reading it didn't get very far have not picked it up in years sorry and then there's the two the next two books in the a curse of dark and lonely trilogy here is the second book here's the third book i have read the first one i absolutely loved it i'm barely anyway in the second book that's story of my life oh and then my baby my duology um wrath in the dawn rose in the dagger this five freaking stars this i actually don't remember i think it was 4.5 or something um i felt like the ending could have been a little bit longer ending could have been nothing nothing else should have been changed because normally people are like oh maybe take away some of the middle no 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 no. nothing else to be changed just that the ending could have been longer yeah and then here we go then here is the trilogy Order. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I love these covers. These are the 10th anniversary, I think, covers. And I'm obsessed with them. Oh, because the original covers. Not a fan. Okay, other side. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, I haven't even read that. Um, what's over here? Kiss of Deception. I started this as an ebook and then I was like, mm, no, I want the whole trilogy. So I'm slowly going to buy the whole trilogy. So I don't know where exactly I am, but I'm going to restart it when I read it again because this is actually really good. And I know she has another series, the because this is a spin-off series from the original. And the original one 
dance of thieves yeah that duology i tried the first one oh, i was not a fan so i'm actually really shocked that i'm a fan of that and then this is the second book in the aquatel series um this is also up because i was rereading as you can see i was rereading it uh yeah warcross i have not actually really started reading that an ember in the ashes i basically have not started reading that i only read the prologue legendborn listen this is my soul my soul is in this book so if you read this you're reading my soul congratulations um we have the flame i've barely started it okay i need to start throwing them with a little bit more order now because it's getting a bit crazy um and then the Akatar series then uh huh what is this called again the dark element series by jennifer l armentrout okay and then love in the brain seven days in june the best thing ace of spades no we really need to start like pumping hopeless i think i want to return that and get the new cover though i don't not sure if i want that black one um seven husbands of evelyn hugh oh my gosh The Undoing. I actually really love that series and I thought Instructions for Dancing. I would love to see um, the book. <laughs> my baby, my crown jewel, my 10 out of 10. My, this is the copy that I actually read because I have the other one as well. Um, Hook, Line and Sinker. Eh. Love in other words, I have to reread this because I actually did not... I'm actually not even going to tell you the mistake I made because it's actually embarrassing. But I need to reread this. I'm probably going to give it 5 stars because I gave it 4.5. So when I reread it, I know I'm going to give it 5. Black Cake, I have not read it. This is an arc that I got when I used to work at the bookstore because we used to be able to take arcs home um, more than once. I know she's re um, releasing this with different writing because she says she has improved her writing. An arc of Velvet Was the Night, again, also got from the bookstore. Ooh my crave series yeah I'm, I'm i'm gonna get the hot cover don't worry because this is embarrassing so yeah i had also again read the red crave as a um ebook i've got a million things back here bookmarks this goes in between my other i'll show you it's okay oh, every time i do this i regret it instantly anyway um what is this called again inheritance games trilogy well i only have the two books though before i let go uh what is it dreamland billionaires i'm so sad that i have these ones now because now the third one's not gonna match up but i'm gonna pretend that it's its own book i'm good at pretending so i'm gonna pretend it's its own book when i get my third one it ends with us one of my favorite reads of 2021 Spanish Love Deception, same. This is an arc of what? No, Never Forget You by Fiona Lucas. I'm, I haven't touched this. Um, everything, everything. Aristotle and Dante. An arc of that's left in the world. Oh, all that's left. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. All that's left in the world. Um, hate you give on the come up concrete rose all angie thomas okay now i have to go lower but i'm not going to do that yet we're going to do this in pieces or else my bed is going to look like a pigsty issue now is i don't know how i'm going to do this well you know what i kind of do just that you guys can't see what i'm picking up which is fine because you're going to see when i put it up here i hope this is not too much of like a chaotic video really Six of Crows, Cricket Kingdom. Oh, that was the word. Verity, who starts with us. Alone within the Ether, Atlas Paradox. I do not have the Atlas Six, and that breaks my heart because these three look like that. And now I'm not going to have an Atlas Paradox that, Atlas 6 that matches. And that just sucks. Sucks for me. Addie LaRue. 
that's the signed one so i wanted to show you but i don't think it really matters um barnes and noble excuse of the kingdom of the wicked and then more bookmarks every time i go to the bookstore i get new bookmarks and i was honest to the lord don't know why because i don't really even use them that much uh the dark artifices Oh yes. Doesn't that look good? I don't know if you can see me anymore, but that looks damn good. Okay, and then we can go romance. Or should we go fantasy? No. We'll put fantasy down there. No, we shouldn't put fantasy down there. Should we put fantasy down there? I don't know if we should put fantasy down there. You obviously can no longer see me as well as you could before. Um I should probably get a bit lower as well and then we'll figure it out i just can you even see me now i have no fucking idea um i don't know what to put fantasy first should i put fantasy first guys probably yeah we're gonna put fantasy first so now i have to wait for this give you my jacket think i'm the perfect guy barely know you but all this on my mind is the feeling of you and i i get ahead of myself sometimes how did one night become a whole damn week all the red flags i didn't want to see now questioning you and i way too ahead of myself sometimes what a immensely regretting my decision because although this looks neat and tidy it's still a disaster it's still a fucking disaster and i'm just very unhappy that there's still a disaster in process but this this looks good that looks really good i will most certainly be sorting out the rest of this off camera because none of these books are like super duper important do you understand like the ones that were at the bottom are like old books from high school that i really enjoyed reading in high school um books that i got in my teenage years and then the other ones are like i showed you um arcs and stuff so it's not that big of a train smash that they did not make it on the shelf so i don't know where i'll put them right now i'm not gonna lie but i'll figure it out and also figure out this whole shelf situation because i want another shelf right and i just don't know if i should get another one that looks like this one or if i should get a bigger one but the big one costs more money okay so comment your decisions down below mind you it's taller it has more tiers and it's wider but it costs more per i think it's double double the amount of another one of these now Please, before someone comes down and asks me where did I get the shelf, where do I want to get the other shelf, answer my question first, please. Because if you ignore my question, I assure you I'll ignore yours. I got it. So, answer my question, please. I'm so many questions. It's like an indecision. I struggle, guys. I'm so indecisive. I just I don't know. I don't know. Because logistically, it makes more sense to get the longer one because I could even put all of this on that one. But having two side to side that are identical is just so pleasing. I really don't know, but I really like how this looks. I'm not gonna lie, I love how this looks. Especially this. These are my crown jewels. So this is just I love this. But anyway, thank you so so much for watching this what whoa. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will most definitely see you next week. Bye.